Namaskar. Welcome to my channel, Dilip's Passion for Trees. In this video, I will be sharing some important information on true cinnamon, which is also known as Ceylon cinnamon, for the benefit of the viewers. Its botanical name is Cinnamomum verum, with synonym Cinnamomum zeylanicum. In India, it is popularly known as Dalcini, besides having few other particular names. It is an evergreen tree attaining a height of about 10 to 15 meter. Its dried inner bark is used as spice. It is not just a spice but useful to us in many other aspects also. It is native to Sri Lanka, India, Bangladesh and Myanmar. In India, it is found in wild in the forest of Western Ghat region, mainly in Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu states. Cinnamomum tamala, which is commonly known as Tespat, is another economically important species found along the northwestern Himalayas in Sikkim, Assam, Mizoram and Meghalaya. Besides Ceylon cinnamon, there are four other commercially important cinnamomum species, namely Chinese cinnamon, cinnamomum cassia, Indonesian cinnamon, cinnamomum barmani, Vietnamese cinnamon, cinnamomum lorelirae, and Malabar cinnamon, cinnamomum citridorum. These are collectively called cassia cinnamon. In fact, cassia cinnamon dominates in the international commerce due to their more availability and lower price. So, cassia cinnamon is more common in most of the supermarkets. It is important to know that the bark of true cinnamon is pale yellowish brown in color, thin and brittle. Its flavor is more fragrant and exotic. It is less bitter with sweet finish in aftertaste unlike cassia cinnamon. It also contains negligible amount of toxic compound called comarin which is more in case of cassia cinnamon. Therefore, even though true cinnamon is expensive and less available but is better choice for health. Due to high quality of true cinnamon, the traders mix it with cassia cinnamon to fetch more price. Major components of true cinnamon are eugenols, cinnamaldehyde, cinnamyl acetate, copen and camphor. The aroma and flavor of cinnamon are due to presence of essential oil and principal component cinnamaldehyde. Now let us discuss in what way is cinnamon useful to us. Cinnamon is one of the most popular spice in the world. In earlier days it was more valuable than gold. It was the most profitable spice because of which it was the main attraction for invading Sri Lanka by the Dutch, Portuguese and British. British East India Company exported cinnamon to Europe from Sri Lanka. Cinnamon is used in flavoring numerous food items from confectionaries to delicious curries to beverages. Its bark oil and leaf oil are also used in perfume, drugs, soaps, toothpaste, face creams, hair oil, etc. Its bark and leaf extracts are also useful to improve shelf life of perishable food commodities. Its essential oil supplementation with poultry diet improves performance. It is used in the treatment of many diseases in traditional system in Ayurveda and folk system of medicines. It has been traditionally used as tooth powder to treat dental problems, bad breath, digestive and respiratory problems. In Ayurvedic medicines, it is used to reduce blood sugar level, cholesterol level, chronic inflammation due to Alzheimer and Parkinson diseases besides using it to get relief from sore throat, influenza, common cold, cough, headache, etc. It is also used 
to boost cognitive ability and memory of the brain and also to treat urinary tract infection, rheumatoid arthritis, etc. Some contemporary studies suggest cinnamon might lower blood sugar and cholesterol, might help in obesity and weight loss, heart disease, HIV, Alzheimer's disease, cancer, etc. Since many of these studies were done using animals, further clinical studies are essential to confirm its efficacy in people. Those who take medications for diabetes, heart disease, and liver disorders, they should consult doctors before using cinnamon as supplement as it may interact with prescribed medication and may increase the effect of prescribed medicines or cause more side effects. Eating small to medium amount of cinnamon is always safe, especially in case of cassia cinnamon, which contains more coumarin that has potentially toxic effect on liver. Now coming to its production and marketing aspect. Presently, Indonesia, China, Vietnam and Sri Lanka are the main cinnamon growing countries which account about 98% of the world's production. Sri Lanka contributes about 80 to 90% of global production of true cinnamon which is mainly exported to Mexico and USA. During 2021, China was the highest export earner from cinnamon followed by Vietnam, Sri Lanka and Indonesia. India contributed only 1% in export. India imports about 45,313 tons of cinnamon annually out of which major portion is cassia cinnamon, especially from China. Though cinnamon has good demand in domestic and international market, organized marketing facility is inadequate in India which needs to be addressed. There is ample scope for commercial cultivation of cinnamon in India in traditional as well as in non-traditional areas. In recent years, the uses of cinnamon and its products have been increased in the food, pharmaceutical and cosmetic industries. This increased demand is a source of inspiration for the cinnamon growers. That's all for today. My next video will be on methods for propagation and cultivation of true cinnamon. Thanks a lot for viewing.